Hello students. In this video, we will discuss about solution of non-linear differential equations. In non-linear differential equations, we will find the three types of the equations which are solvable for y, x and p, where p is dy by dx. So, this given differential equation, what we see here, it is an equation which is solvable for p. We note that this is the quadratic equation in terms of P. So, we will find what are the values of P, the roots of this equation by using the quadratic roots formula. The root of a quadratic equation is given by X is equal to minus B plus or minus root of B square minus 4AC divided by 2A. This is the root of P equation when the equation is of the form AX square plus BX plus P equal to 0. So, this is for finding the root of a quadratic equation. Now, we see that our differential equation is a quadratic equation solvable for P. So, we will find the values of P. Comparing with the standard form, we see that A is xy, P is minus of x square plus y square and C is xy. Substituting these values in the quadratic root formula, we have P is equal to minus B. So, already B is with a minus sign that will become plus here. It is x square plus y square plus or minus root of x square plus y square the whole square minus 4a which is xy and c which is also xy. This whole divided by 2a and a is xy. On simplifying it is x square plus y square plus or minus root of expand this a plus by using a plus b the whole square formula. It will be x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 plus 2 x square y square minus 4 x square y square divided by 2 x we see that under the square root, it is x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4, 2x square y square minus 4x square y square will become minus 2x square y square. So, P is equal to x square plus y square plus or minus under the square root, we have x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 minus 2x square y square divided by 2xy. Now, if you note, under the square root, it is an expansion of x square minus y square the whole square. The term under the square root, we can write it as x square plus y square plus or minus. So, this is the expansion of x square minus y square the whole square divided by 2xy. Now, the square, square root get cancelled. We have x square plus y square a plus or minus x square minus y square divided by 2xy. Now, the possibility the values of P are it is x square plus y square. Take it with the plus sign x square minus y square divided by 2xy and the another value of p will be x square plus y square minus of x square minus y square divided by 2xy. So, note that in the first term, y square get cancelled. In the second term, 
the x square get cancelled with the multiplication of that minus sign. So here when we multiply with the y square, it will become 2y square by 2xy. Here it will become 2x square by 2xy. So we have the values of p as 2x square by 2xy and also the another value it is 2y square by 2xy. On simplification the x get 2x get cancelled. Here the 2y gets cancelled. So we have p is equal to x by y and here it is p is equal to y by p means that it is divided by dx. So dy by dx is equal to x by y and here it is dy by dx is equal to y by x. Both of these equations are the linear equations. Solve the first order differential equations. Uh, we can note that in the first differential equation it is a variable separable method. So it is y dy is equal to x into dx. On integrating, we will get y square by 2 is equal to x square by 2 plus c square or 6. So, take it on the left hand side, y square by 2 minus x square by 2 is equal to c. Take LCM, we can write y square minus x square is equal to 2c. Similarly, Evaluate this. This is also in variable separable method itself. So here it is dy by y is equal to dx by x. And on integrating, 1 by y integration is log of y is equal to 1 by x is log x. So let me take an integration constant as also in terms of the log. It is log of c. Take it on the left hand side. It's log y minus log of x is equal to log of c. Log of a minus log b is log of a by b. So this we can write it as log of y by x is equal to log of c. On cancelling log both sides we have. So let me take this as c2. And here it is as c1. So the solution is. So, the general solution of the equations which are solvable for P, if I take this as the solution U and here it is the solution V, then the general solution will be a phi of UV is equal to 0. On substituting the values of U and V for this problem, the general solution is Y square minus X square comma Y by X is equal to 0. So, this is the general solution of the given problem. Thanks for